Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Codations. In today's video, we're going to be diving back into some Cookie Run Kingdom and specifically bringing you guys five epic cookies that you should absolutely be building right now. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Diving right in, ladies and gentlemen. So starting us off here in the video, we're going to be taking a look at the very first cookie that you should absolutely be building of the epic category. And that's going to be Twizzly Gummy. Twizzly Gummy is very new to the game recently, but I'm going to tell you guys right now, she's absolutely changing the meta game, dude, especially when it comes to the overall arena. I would say that Twizzly really excels in the overall arena versus something like, you know, the world exploration or the PvE aspect of the game. But... Never, nevertheless, don't let her fool you. You can still utilize her as a main DPS unit on your team that you would utilize in the PvE or, like I said, the World Exploration. She still adds a ton of damage to your overall team comp. And not only that, she's very, very good, especially even on her own if you're not even utilizing things like Mala Sauce to add to her, her overall crit percent. Because if you don't know, that's exactly how she is built. It's going to be based on crit percent not necessarily searing raspberries or anything else. And with that being said, let's dive in here and take a look at her overall toppings of choice. When it comes to Twizzly Gummy, in my opinion, I think the best way to run her based on her skill is going to be the Juicy Apple Jelly. Obviously, taking advantage of the full set bonus to get the additional 5% crit is a absolute must, especially, like I said, if you are not running Mala Sauce. If you don't know, Mala Sauce provides a crit rate up bonus um, for whoever cookie has the highest crit rate already. And because of that, if you're not running Mala, you absolutely are going to need to be running these juicy apples to make sure that you are utilizing Twizzly to her maximum efficiency. And then as far as substats go, I would really say that I think focusing in on additional crit percent is going to be an absolute must if you are not running Mala Sauce because you're sacrificing that additional crit percent that you know, Mala Sauce would obviously be providing and with it not being provided, any additional crit that you can get is going to be welcomed. Outside of that, especially for the overall arena aspect, I would say grind out some additional damage resistance from substats if you can because obviously it's going to allow Twizzly to stay alive longer. Same thing goes for the overall crit um, resistance. And then obviously running the additional attack as always when it comes to a damage dealer is not going to hurt you. Alrighty, so with that being said, guys, let's dive into the second cookie that you should absolutely be building right now on your account of the epic category, and that's going to lead us to the brand new cookie, Pumpkin Pie. I'm going to tell you guys right now, you've probably seen all of the videos on the, you know, the YouTube platform talking about how broken Pumpkin Pie compositions are right now, especially in the overall Kingdom Arena. And that's going to be one of the main reasons why we're featuring her in today's video, man. Pumpkin Pie is absolutely broken. You can get in here and read the overall skill for yourself. But essentially, all you need to know is that it summons this what they call Pom Pom. It's going to basically be a summoned, you know, cookie just like Licorice. And Pom Pom is a massive, massive tank. And on top of that, it's going to be reducing the amount of healing that enemies receive. Whether it's going to be cookies or it's going to be enemies in the world exploration side of things by 70% for 3 seconds absolutely a meta breaking cookie you need to be building one if you do not have one make sure you get in there and pull on the banner right now with the rate up before it officially goes away now with the overall toppings here of choice when it comes to pumpkin pie cookie i would 100 say that i think the best set is going to be running a full solid almond set however i would like to mention here that some players have shown me some really good builds with a mix set um, that mix set is going to be basically housing solid almonds and then also um, housing searing raspberries. Um, and in theory, what you would do for that mixed build would be to run three searing raspberries to take advantage of the uh, three set bonus for the additional 3% attack. And then you'd be running the two remaining slots as solid almonds just so then you can get the additional damage resistance. Um, honestly, I think it really just boils down to your substats and which, one, which set you have better substats in. If you've got a better substat mix with just a full set of solid almonds, then great. I would say run that one. I think that is going to be the better way to go just because you want Pom Pom to be as tanky as possible. And that's really what, you know, Pom Pom's there for and Pumpkin Pie's utility. 
Um, outside of that, though, you might not have the best substance when it comes to, you know, a full solid almond set because there's a lot of cookies that utilize full solid almonds. And if that is the case, then obviously run the mix set if you can um, to just hopefully get the better substance via that set. And also speaking of substance here, when it comes to running and utilizing pumpkin pie cookie, I would honestly say that the additional damage resistance as much as possible is going to be welcomed. I would also, and then I would say the crit resistance is going to be very good once again for the overall PvP arena. And then obviously a little bit of cool down never hurts anybody at least to get you know something more than two percent just to make sure that you're using it as fast as possible and then obviously the additional attack is only going to help pom pom do a little bit more damage on top of you know uh, adding in the survivability with the tankiness Alrighty, soon i'm moving right along to the third cookie we've got on our list of five epic cookies that you should absolutely be building and that's still gonna be strawberry crate man strawberry crate still holds strong today if you do not have a holly berry I know Holly Berry is really tough for new players diving into the game to get. It takes quite a bit of time to grind it out, especially because the banner is gone. Well, guess what? If you don't have a Holly Berry, the next best, in my opinion, is going to be Strawberry Crepe. Strawberry Crepe, essentially what you're looking for is this 50% damage resistance over 8 seconds um, for 2 cookies. And that's absolutely broken, guys. Not only in the overall arena, but also throughout various PvE content. The World Exploration, the Chaos Tower, just a ton of different ways you can utilize Strawberry Crepe. Not only that, like I said, it's literally the best outside of Hollyberry besides when it comes to the Guild Boss Battle. Obviously, DC still takes that number one spot, and if you don't know what DC is, that's Dark Choco, because his skill has a defense break, which works very, very nicely with basically boss, any boss level. So again, even in World Exploration, you get to the end of an episode on that boss stage, DC is probably a better choice, swap in DC for Strawberry Crepe, then boom, um, you should be able to nail whatever that boss stage is. But outside of that, guys, Strawberry Crepe is going to be the next best option. However, when it comes to the individual toppings of choice for Strawberry Crepe, um, I would honestly say that I think the best ones are going to be a full set of Swift Chocolates. Ideally, here you are trying to utilize this skill as much as possible to keep that, you know, damage resistance buff of 50% on those two cookies on your team um, for as long as possible and as often as possible. And you only achieve that by getting the additional, you know, Swift Chocolate sets and the set bonus to reduce the cooldown of the skill. With that being said, I would honestly say that I think cooldown reduction is going to be the best way to go. One thing to mention here, though, is that when it comes to cooldown, um, you are, you're really trying to hone in and focus on getting anything above 21%. You can obviously see here that I might have a little bit um, of overkill because I'm getting the 5% set bonus on top of my subs already giving me 21.4%. So in theory, I could be swapping these out uh, for some additional sub stats, you know, after I have already achieved the 21%, but it is what it is for, the, for today's video. But as far as the overall sub stats go, I would probably say focus additionally on damage resistance too, just because that's going to add to the survivability, especially when it comes to things like the overall arena. Same thing goes for crit resistance to hopefully survive some of those damage um, or those burst damage comps in arena. And then last but not least, I would say just the additional attack just to, you know, add into the overall value when it comes to utilizing Strawberry Crate. Also, guys, I would like to mention here on the side note that somebody just let me know, and that's going to be you can also run a, a kind of a mix on Strawberry Crate. I don't know how vital it is. I personally have always ran a Swift Chocolate set, but basically I would being informed that these two all two solid almonds in a three swift chocolate set can also be vital just because you can utilize the additional damage resistance on top um, of the overall cooldown reduction if you do have happen to get lucky with your substats and can still achieve that at least 21 percent via substats with that mix set if you can then it's probably going to be the better way to go because as you saw here i was a little bit overkill on my you know cooldown being already at 21 percent via substats so i could easily probably swap that out to a better you know mix set utilizing the additional damage resistance to my advantage Alrighty, so with that being said let's jump in here to our fourth cookie we've got for you guys today and that's going to bring us to vampire cookie once again guys still honestly the best single target damage dealer in the game you can't argue with it the guy literally does the most damage to a single individual unit and not only that he's got the ability to heal himself based on the damage that he performs so again very very good unit to build absolutely the best damage dealer for the overall guild boss battle very very good for sniping out cookies in the overall arena especially at lower tiers you can take out some of those easy um targets in the back line which then literally make 
shake up their composition. You take out those back units like the Almond and the Cheese Comp or the Pure Vanilla or Herb or Parfait for their healer, then you pretty much have it GG in a bag. Um, same thing goes for specific boss stages, you know, utilizing Vampire and the Slingshot in DC is going to benefit you tremendously over other types of damage dealers, aka, you know, AoE abilities. Um, it's going to be doing just significantly more damage as a single target when it comes to bosses. As far as overall toppings go, honestly, running a full set of Searing Raspberries and just building as much attack as you possibly can is going to be ideal here. I mean, obviously, you can build a little bit into cooldown if you happen to just get lucky with those subs. Um, but I definitely think that, you know, the three main ones, the additional attack would be number one. You've got a little bit of cooldown and also damage resistance. I think, you know, none of those three can really hurt um, Vampire overall. But he is a damage dealer primarily there to do as much damage as possible. Focus in on building the additional damage resistance. Alrighty, so now officially diving in here to the fifth and final cookie we've got for today's video that you should absolutely absolutely be building and that's going to be black raisin um there's a good reason behind this i mean i know a lot of people currently are, are you know building sorbet and i still think that sorbet versus black raisin um sorbet can be a better you know overall damage dealer um, and potentially you know utilize via utility throughout the game you know for his skill switching back and forth but you should absolutely still be investing in a Black Raisin if you have the resources and you haven't already built a Sorbet because Black Raisin is very, very good. She provides AoE damage and not only that, when it comes to utilizing her in general, she's an ambush cookie. So she does a mega ton of damage over top of all of the other classes in the game and she pretty much fits with any team composition. She's kind of like a vampire if you will because they're both ambush units um but provides some aoe and like i said works very very nice in all types of content pvp or pve like world exploration or the chaos tower or the tropical islands doesn't matter she literally can fit in any team comp with that being said let's go ahead and jump in here and take a look at the overall toppings of choice as always, guys, just like Vampire, you're going to be running a full Searing Raspberry set because they are an ambush cookie. With them being an ambush cookie, the sole purpose behind Black Raisin and somebody like Vampire is to do as much damage as possible. Same thing goes here. You want to be focusing in on as much attack as you possibly can achieve. And then as overall substats go, guys, I absolutely think that when it comes to utilizing um, the different Searing Raspberry sets, I would say additional attack is going to be the uh, number one way to go. Obviously, crit percent wouldn't be a bad one either, just because, you know, the more crits that they are actually performing, then the more damage that they're going to provide. The damage resistance, again, not a bad one here. It's just going to allow her to stay alive longer. And then last but not least, I think the, the cooldown um, would not be a bad one to go, just to, so she can utilize her skill more often. And then crit resist, like I said, once again, for the overall arena, just to help them survive through some of those burst dealing comps. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully that gives you guys a better understanding of some cookies to focus on in the game, especially if you are early on. Like I said, these five cookies, every single account should be building. If you don't have them built, start building them now, especially the first couple ones that their banner and their event are currently going on, that being Pumpkin Pie and being Twizzly Gummy. Because once those events currently go away and that banner officially goes away, it's just going to be that much harder to get those cookies and promote those cookies. And as of right now, they're absolutely meta. So get in here and build them. As always, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know exactly when we drop a video. And not only that, guys, we've got a Discord link. It's provided down below in the description. I will invite everybody to join over there. We've almost got 5,000 members which is absolutely insane, but it's a very, very awesome community, and we're always willing to help out anybody and everybody, no matter what question or concerns that you have. With that being said, guys, I will always see you on the next one.